back to another Click tutorial. My name is Jasper, and what we're going to be diving into today is how to set up DeepSeek AI on your MacBook Pro locally, so not having to use the internet or anyone else's devices. So if we need to learn more about DeepSeek, all you need to do is jump onto DeepSeek.com and you'll be able to learn more about them there. But if you're watching this video, I'm sure you understand who they currently are and what it does. Um, and let's just dive into actually setting it up on your device. So you can, in the description of this video, you'll find all links that are mentioned, like this one here, and you can easily click them and find the resources needed. So you're going to want to come across to huggingface.co and find the DeepSeek-R1 um, model. Once you've done that, you're going to see two types of models, these models here. Now these are the actual big ones that they currently use. You cannot use those because there's no MacBook currently powerful enough to run a model that size. You'd need server farms. So what you want is these distilled models down here. So they have them from 1.5 billion all the way up to 70 billion. Now if you have a strong MacBook, let's say the um, for an M1, M2 or M3 and it's got let's say 32 gigabyte or more, you can easily run the uh, 14 billion and 8 billion and it'll work quite well. Um, but if you're running let's say one of the M1s, M2s or 3s and you've got around 16 gigabyte, then you're going to want to run the, if you want something fast, then you're going to want to use the 1.5 billion. If you want something that's um, a bit slower but a bit better, you can use the 7 billion. For myself, I use the 1.5 and it actually works really well. I would say it's on par with about GPT-4 and a little bit of GPT-4-0. Okay, now once you've got your model, all you need to do is uh, copy the name here. So we'll copy it there, and then you're going to want software to actually run the model locally on your device. So you're going to need to Google search um, LM Studio and come to the first link here, which is their website. And then you're going to see these options. So you're going to want to download the uh, Mac version for the M1 series, so the M series. So you can download that and install it. Now once you've done that, you and installed it, um, run it for the first time and you will see something like this. Now, now that we've got the software to run the actual model, we need to then download uh, the model to use it. Now to do that, you're going to want to click here, discover. And then in the search bar here, you're going to want to paste your model. Now that's the one that we had, and you'll see this is the um, LM Studio version that they have, and they have the one that we spoke about. So I've already installed this, as you saw before. So all you'll do is select the person, um, whether you want to do it from the LM Studio community, or if you want to get it directly from DeepSeek, you'll find it in this list. Um, so you can do that there. Once installed, um, it will take a little bit to download it, they're usually about 10 gigabyte in size. You'll then be able to use it. So this is what the UI will look like for you. Um, just a nice simple UI and all you got to do is now go let's say click here what's the capital of France and there it goes so it's thinking so this is uh, how it thinks internally so it's not the um, response yet just what it's thinking about doing and uh, what it should do so it does that first as it thinks Now you've got to remember that this isn't uh, hosted anywhere. This is actually locally on the device running off a MacBook Pro M1 with 16 gigabytes of RAM. So just like that, while we're recording and doing everything else, we've still got, we got 25 tokens a second. And um, yeah, that's really good to be quite honest. For I'm currently recording, I've got about three different browsers open um, and everything running. So there's actually quite a lot going on. Um, in terms of what I usually get when I don't have such a heavy load uh, going on, is actually about 30 tokens a second, and G Ch with ChatGPT you get about between 30 to 60 tokens a second um, for an end user. But thanks for watching the video. Um, it's nice and simple setting this up, uh, and it'll be yeah great to use for a lot of people so they don't have to rely on um, actually hosted services, and you can use AI technology locally. Thanks for watching the video, and look forward to seeing you in the next one.